ladies and gentlemen, um, every single one of us has felt pain, whether it's loss, disappointment, or a deep sense of failure. We've all been there staring down moments that feel too heavy, too difficult, too much to bear. But today I want you to consider something that may change how you see that pain. I want you to consider that maybe, just maybe, that pain is a source of power waiting to be unleashed. You see, life doesn't just hand us challenges for the sake of it. Challenges are opportunities disguised as hardship. They come to us not because we deserve to suffer, but because we're being prepared, strengthened, and molded. Pain is a teacher if we're willing to learn. It is a fuel if we're willing to use it. Think about the times you felt at your lowest. Didn't those moments reveal a strength you didn't know you had? Those sleepless nights, those moments of doubt, they taught you resilience, courage, and the will to keep going no matter what. That power isn't born out of ease and comfort. It's forged in the fires of challenge. In life, everyone faces challenges that seem insurmountable. We encounter pain, whether through loss, failure, or setbacks, and often these moments can feel overwhelming. But what if we could shift our perspective? What if we could see our pain not as something that merely happens to us, but as a force that prepares and strengthens us, helping us grow and equipping us for what lies ahead? This notion that pain is actually a form of preparation is a powerful one, and it's a perspective that has the potential to reshape our understanding of hardship. When we experience pain, it's easy to fall into despair or frustration. We wonder why we're being forced to endure something so difficult, and sometimes it feels unfair, but pain, as uncomfortable as it is, serves a greater purpose. It is often through our most challenging moments that we uncover inner reserves of strength we didn't know we had. Pain teaches us resilience, a quality that cannot be developed in times of ease. Resilience is the ability to bounce back to endure hardship and to stand tall in the face of adversity. But resilience isn't something we're born with. It's something that is developed through experience. And pain is one of life's greatest teachers in this respect. Consider someone who has faced a significant personal loss. In the initial stages, the grief may feel unbearable, but as time passes, they begin to adapt, to find ways of coping, and perhaps even to find new purpose. They come out of the experience not unscarred, but strengthened. They have a new understanding of themselves and of the world around them. They may have a deeper appreciation for life, a stronger sense of empathy for others, and a renewed sense of purpose. This transformation is the result of pain serving as a preparatory force. Pain has molded them, shaped them, and prepared them for future challenges. This doesn't mean that pain should be celebrated or sought after no one wishes for suffering. But when it does come, as it inevitably will, we can learn to view it as a stepping stone rather than a stumbling block. Pain can help us become more compassionate, more patient, and more understanding. It also teaches us humility. When we go through difficult times, we become more aware of our own limitations, and this awareness fosters growth. We begin to realize that we are not invincible, that we need others, and that we have areas within ourselves that require strengthening. This humility is essential for personal growth, and it often emerges in the wake of painful experiences. Pain also has a way of stripping away the unnecessary, leaving us with a clearer sense of what truly matters. It forces us to reevaluate our priorities, helping us understand what we genuinely value in life. For example, someone who faces a health crisis may emerge with a renewed commitment to self-care and a desire to spend more time with loved ones. A person who loses a job may discover a passion they never had the courage to pursue before. In these ways, pain can act as a clarifying force, helping us find our true purpose and direction. It strips away the noise, the distractions, and the trivial concerns, bringing our focus to what is genuinely meaningful. Pain fosters empathy. When we've been through hardship ourselves, we are often more understanding and compassionate toward others who are struggling. This empathy deepens our relationships and enhances our capacity to connect with those around us. We begin to understand that everyone has their own battles, their own struggles, and their own moments of pain. This shared understanding can bring us closer to others, allowing us to be a source of comfort and support. In this way, pain not only prepares us for our own journey, but also equips us to help others along their paths. 
facing pain head on builds confidence and courage. When we realize that we have endured difficult times and emerged stronger, we gain confidence in our ability to handle future challenges. Each painful experience becomes a badge of honor, a reminder that we have overcome something difficult and that we are capable of overcoming even more. This confidence doesn't make us immune to future pain, but it does make us more resilient. We know that we have the tools to face adversity, that we can rely on our inner strength, and that we are capable of finding solutions even in the most challenging circumstances. In this way, pain is not merely a burden, it's a form of preparation. It prepares us for life's uncertainties, for future hardships, and for the inevitable ups and downs that come with being human. Pain is in many ways life's way of preparing us for what lies ahead. It strengthens our character, sharpens our focus, and deepens our capacity for empathy. It teaches us resilience, humility, and courage. And when we view pain as a preparatory force, we begin to see that even our darkest moments have value. So the next time we face pain, rather than succumbing to despair, we can choose to look at it as an opportunity for growth. We can ask ourselves, what is this pain teaching me? How is it preparing me for the future? By asking these questions, we turn our pain into a tool for transformation, allowing it to mold us into stronger, wiser, and more compassionate individuals. Pain may not be easy, but it is undeniably powerful. And when we allow it to prepare us, we emerge not broken, but unbreakable. In our lives, we often encounter painful experiences that test our limits and push us to question our strength. These are the moments that feel insurmountable, like waves crashing over us, leaving us struggling to breathe. Yet, if we look closely, these moments reveal something powerful within us, something that we might not even know was there. Pain has a unique way of drawing out resilience, a quality that is only truly developed when we face hardships. When life is comfortable and easy, there is little reason for us to dig deep and find that inner strength. We move along smoothly, unchallenged, and perhaps even unaware of what we are truly capable of. But when pain strikes, suddenly we are faced with a choice to give in to the difficulty or to rise above it. Pain forces us to confront our own vulnerabilities, and in doing so, it offers us an opportunity to tap into a strength we may have never recognized. This strength, our resilience, isn't a trait we are born with it, is built piece by piece through the trials we face. Resilience is the ability to bounce back, to withstand pressure, and to keep moving forward, even when the odds seem stacked against us. It's not a shield that keeps us from experiencing hurt or disappointment, but rather a muscle that grows each time we overcome a challenge. Imagine someone experiencing failure for the first time. It might feel devastating, perhaps even embarrassing or shameful, but after navigating that experience, they learn that failure, while uncomfortable, is survivable. The next time they face failure, they are a little bit stronger, a little bit more prepared. With each setback, their resilience grows, making them increasingly capable of handling whatever life throws their way. Think of resilience like a tree's roots. On the surface, a tree looks solid and sturdy, but its true strength lies underground in the roots that stretch deep into the earth. During a storm, when the winds howl and the rain pours, it's these roots that anchor the tree, keeping it from being torn away. In much the same way, resilience grounds us in times of crisis. It's the foundation that keeps us steady, even when everything around us is in turmoil. And just like roots grow deeper with time, resilience strengthens with every painful experience we endure and overcome. Consider someone who faces the loss of a loved one. The initial shock and grief can feel unbearable, like a weight pressing down on their chest. But over time, as they navigate the grieving process, they learn to live with their loss. They develop coping mechanisms, seek out support, and find ways to honor the memory of their loved one. In the process, they build resilience. They emerge from that experience stronger, more compassionate, and better equipped to face future challenges. This strength doesn't erase the pain of their loss, but it does allow them to carry on, to move forward, and to support others who might be experiencing something similar. Resilience also brings with it a sense of confidence and self-assurance. Once we've overcome a difficult situation, we know we can handle more. We have a reference point, a memory of triumph in the face of adversity that reminds us of our capability. Each painful experience adds to this storehouse of resilience, allowing us to face the next challenge with less fear and more determination. It's as if we're building a personal archive of victories over hardship, which we can draw upon whenever we're faced with something difficult. 
This confidence doesn't make us immune to pain, but it does help us approach it with a different mindset. Instead of viewing it as an insurmountable obstacle, we see it as another opportunity to grow, to learn, and to strengthen our resilience. Another aspect of resilience is that it teaches us to adapt. Painful experiences often force us to adjust our expectations, to rethink our goals, or to find new ways of coping. This adaptability is a critical part of resilience. Life is unpredictable, and it's impossible to control every outcome. But resilience teaches us to bend rather than break, to find new pathways when the old ones are blocked. This adaptability becomes one of our greatest strengths, allowing us to navigate life's ups and downs with greater ease and grace. It's important to remember that resilience isn't about ignoring pain or pretending that we're unaffected by it. On the contrary, resilience requires us to confront our pain, to acknowledge it, and to learn from it. It's about accepting our feelings, processing them, and ultimately using them to fuel our growth. Resilience transforms pain from something that hinders us into something that propels us forward. Each painful experience is like a weight that, when lifted, makes us stronger. We build resilience not by avoiding pain, but by enduring it, by learning from it, and by allowing it to shape us. When we look back on our lives, it's often the most challenging moments that stand out, the times when we prove to ourselves that we are stronger than we thought. These are the moments when resilience is born, and they remind us that no matter how difficult the journey may be, we have the strength to keep going. So the next time you face pain or difficulty, remember that it is an invitation to discover your own resilience. It is an opportunity to build strength, to grow roots, and to become unshakable. Pain may be unavoidable, but resilience is the gift we gain when we choose to rise above it. And with each experience, you are not only surviving, you are thriving, becoming someone who can face any storm with courage and grace. Pain is an inevitable part of life. We all experience it, whether through loss, disappointment, failure, or personal hardship. When we're in the midst of it, it can feel like an overwhelming burden, something that we desperately want to escape. Yet, one of the most transformative choices we can make is to decide how we respond to pain. We can let it defeat us, or we can make the powerful choice to transform it into strength. Pain has the potential to shape us, to teach us, and to help us grow, but only if we choose to engage with it rather than avoiding it. Pain can break us down, but it can also build us up if we learn how to transform it. It's natural to feel broken when we're in pain, but in those broken pieces lies an opportunity. Pain doesn't just tear down, it can also reveal areas within ourselves that need healing or growth. When we're honest about what we're feeling, we gain insight into our vulnerabilities. This insight is valuable because it shows us where we need to put in the work. For instance, if we feel deeply disappointed after a failed project, we might uncover an insecurity we didn't realize was there, perhaps a fear of inadequacy or a deep desire for external validation. This realization gives us the power to address it, to work on our confidence, and to learn to find validation within ourselves rather than from others. Pain becomes a mirror, reflecting back to us the parts of ourselves that we need to strengthen. Turning pain into power is a choice that requires courage and resilience. It's not easy to confront painful experiences, to sit with them, and to learn from them. Many of us would rather distract ourselves or bury our emotions, but when we do this, we miss out on the opportunity for growth. Pain, when approached with intention, can be transformed into one of our greatest sources of strength. It's about taking ownership of our story, choosing to be empowered rather than defined by our struggles. By taking control of our response, we regain our power and shift from being victims of our circumstances to creators of our future. Think of someone who has gone through a difficult breakup. At first, the pain may be all-consuming, leaving them feeling lost, hurt, and unsure of who they are. But over time, if they choose to lean into that pain and understand what it's teaching them, they might discover areas of personal growth they need to explore. Perhaps they recognize the need to establish stronger boundaries or to prioritize their own happiness and well-being. The pain becomes a catalyst for change, helping them emerge from the experience stronger, wiser, and more self-aware. They might find that the very experience that once felt like it would break them actually made them more whole. Pain can also drive us to make changes that we may have avoided otherwise. When we experience a level of discomfort that we can no longer tolerate, we're often motivated to take action. This is the concept of hitting rock bottom. 
where the pain becomes so intense that staying the same is no longer an option. It might push us to pursue a new career, end a toxic relationship, or prioritize our health and well-being. Pain becomes a motivator, propelling us forward and inspiring us to make changes that align with our true values and aspirations. In this way, pain can serve as a turning point, helping us to realign our lives and make choices that lead to growth and fulfillment. One of the most beautiful aspects of turning pain into power is that it creates a story of resilience that we can share with others. When we've gone through difficult experiences and found a way to rise above them, we gain a level of empathy and understanding that we might not have had otherwise. This empathy allows us to connect with others on a deeper level, to offer support, and to inspire those who may be going through similar challenges. Our story of transformation becomes a source of hope, reminding others that they too can turn their pain into power. By sharing our journey, we show that hardship doesn't have to be the end, it can be the beginning of something profound. Another essential part of transforming pain is to use it as fuel for personal goals and ambitions. Pain can be a powerful motivator, giving us the drive to prove to ourselves that we're stronger than we ever imagined. Many people who have faced significant hardships use that experience as a launching pad for success, whether it's by creating art, building a business, or making a difference in their communities. Pain becomes a source of inspiration, something that fuels their desire to make an impact and to create something meaningful out of their experience. This transformation is about taking control of our narrative and using it to propel us forward. Turning pain into power is an act of self-empowerment. It's about recognizing that while we may not always be able to control what happens to us, we can control how we respond. Pain can leave us feeling powerless, but by choosing to transform it, we reclaim that power. We become active participants in our own lives, shaping our future and using our past as a foundation for growth. Every painful experience can become a stepping stone towards something greater, a reminder of our strength, and a testament to our resilience. So the next time you face pain, remember that it holds within it the potential for transformation. You have the power to decide what it means to give it purpose and to let it be the force that propels you forward. Embrace it, learn from it, and allow it to make you stronger. Pain can break you, but if you choose to let it, it can also build you into someone unbreakable, someone who not only survives but thrives. When we confront pain and adversity in life, it can be easy to feel isolated, as if we are the, are the only ones enduring such struggles. However, it's important to remember that pain is a universal experience. Everyone goes through hardships at some point in their lives. Embracing this truth allows us to shift our perspective on pain from something purely negative to an opportunity for connection, growth, and empowerment. One of the most significant transformations we can make is to recognize that our pain can serve as a powerful reminder of our resilience, and in doing so, we can discover our true potential. Transforming pain into power means taking our experiences and using them to foster growth, not only in ourselves, but in others as well. When we choose to be vulnerable and share our stories of struggle, we create a space for others to do the same. This sharing is not just about revealing our wounds, it's about demonstrating how we've navigated through them. Each time we share how we overcame adversity, we empower others to confront their own challenges. Our stories become sources of inspiration and encouragement, reminding others that there is light at the end of the tunnel. By speaking openly about our pain, we help dismantle the stigma surrounding struggles, encouraging a culture of openness and support. In the process of turning our pain into power, we also gain valuable insights into ourselves. Pain acts as a catalyst for introspection, forcing us to confront our beliefs, values, and motivations. When we experience hardship, we often find ourselves asking profound questions. What do I truly value? What do I want out of life? What changes do I need to make? These questions drive us towards self-discovery, helping us to clarify our goals and align our actions with our true selves. As we grapple with these reflections, we emerge with a stronger sense of identity and purpose. So, this self-discovery is essential because it allows us to harness the power of our pain to fuel our ambitions. Pain can serve as a motivating force, pushing us to pursue our dreams with greater passion and determination. When we acknowledge the difficulties we faced and recognize how far we've come, we gain a sense of confidence that propels us forward. For example, someone who has experienced financial hardship may find that their struggles inspire them to pursue a career that helps others in similar situations. Their pain transforms into a driving force for positive change, not only in their life, but in the lives of others. 
Turning pain into power requires an active choice to embrace resilience. Resilience is not just a trait, it's a practice, a mindset that can be cultivated. When we face pain, we have the opportunity to cho choose how we respond. We can either let it define us or allow it to strengthen us. Embracing a resilient mindset involves reframing our challenges as opportunities for growth. This shift in perspective empowers us to view setbacks as stepping stones rather than barriers. When we adopt this mindset, we become more adaptable and better equipped to handle whatever life throws our way. Resilience fosters a sense of agency in our lives. By taking ownership of our responses to pain, we regain control over our narratives. Instead of viewing ourselves as passive victims of circumstance, we become active participants in our own healing. This sense of agency is incredibly empowering. It allows us to set goals, make decisions, and take actions that align with our values and aspirations. When we recognize that we have the power to shape our future, we begin to cultivate a sense of purpose and direction in our lives. In recognizing that pain can lead to personal power, we also discover the importance of self-care in the healing process. Taking care of ourselves physically, emotionally, and mentally is essential in transforming pain into power. This means acknowledging our needs, seeking support, and prioritizing our well-being. Self-care practices such as mindfulness, exercise, and connecting with loved ones become essential tools in our journey toward resilience. By caring for ourselves, we create a solid foundation from which to face challenges, allowing us to approach pain with a renewed sense of strength. Transforming pain into power is a journey that requires courage, vulnerability, and a commitment to growth. It's about recognizing that pain is not just an obstacle to overcome, but a powerful teacher that can guide us toward greater understanding, empathy, and resilience. As we navigate our own struggles and share our stories with others, we contribute to a culture of support and compassion. We empower ourselves and those around us, creating a ripple effect that extends far beyond our individual experiences. So the next time you find yourself facing pain, remember that it can be a powerful catalyst for transformation. Embrace the lessons it brings, lean into your resilience, and use your experiences to connect with others. Allow your pain to become a source of strength and inspiration, not just for yourself, but for those around you. In doing so, you not only uplift yourself, but also help to create a world where vulnerability is embraced, empathy is fostered, and pain is transformed into power.